Winter Attack playthrough series playing Unconditional Surrender. We're playing the France 1940 learning scenario. This is part three. Parts one and two were May and June respectively. This is July. We'll go ahead and start with the weather phase. Uh, being July, we have fair weather in the cold zone. Oh, I should have just looked at this. Fair, 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 no matter what we roll. So that's not going to bode well for the French. Um, again, uh, we skip the declare war phase, go straight to the economy phase. Looking at the Western faction, uh, we can see the British have uh, nine factories, but they've lost two. To uh, strategic warfare, so that's uh, seven, giving us fourteen. The French uh, have lost a couple factories uh, due to con German conquest, so they're at six, that gives them twelve production points. The Germans, they have fourteen factories, minus one uh, factory lost, so thirteen, twenty-six. Next is the strategic warfare phase, and uh, just as a reminder, we're looking at plus one um, for a uh, excess air unit in a port in a sea zone um, of three or four, and uh, scenario instructions indicate that. The Germans do not have a U-boat this turn, so we have a pretty good roll for the Allies, plus one for that aircraft in the sea zone. Looks like we have... Um, AS, Strategic Warfare, AS, increase the German factory loss marker, value by one, decrease the allied one. So, here we go, ally down to one, German up to two. Now the uh, strategic movement phase, um, I still don't see a need to do any strategic movement. Um, the farthest guy out is this guy, and you know, the, that um, reduced French unit, I don't see a need. So we'll move into the operations phase um, of the Axis faction. So uh, let's see what we want to do. So we need to take advantage of this nice weather. I think you know, the French have a pretty solid line of these Maginot forts, units behind this river. But uh, they're looking mighty weak to the west, uh, especially when I feel like I made a, a blunder here by leaving this space open. Because when a unit enters it, enemy zone of control, um, it has to stop or attack. But when it starts in the enemy zone of control, uh, you know it, it can go one more move. It can go one move. So that, in other words, my reading of the rules is this guy can move here, and then he would be forced to. Um, and his activation or attack. So we're going to go ahead and activate this guy. We're going to pay two um, production points. He has 10 movement points and he is spending one to cross that river, one into this space. There's no enemy unit being attacked. This is a aircraft unit. It's going to have to rebase. So my, my reading as well is that that costs um, two move total. So this French unit needs to rebase. Um, I'm thinking it's going to rebase down down maybe yeah, towards Vichy. This might not be far enough. Um, maybe it'll just go here. Okay, and uh, that adds a sortie, I believe. Let me just check that. Uh, yes, it does indeed add a sortie, and uh, just to clarify, that wasn't a rebase so much as a displacement, but it follows the rebase rules. Okay, so the German unit um, can proceed. He has eight movement points, um, but is now in an enemy zone of control. It's also um, uh, isolated, actually. Um, well, it has a friendly city it can retreat to. 
you know, I'm a little confused about this as well. I just want to see if it's going to get an isolated negative um, rating, so I'm going to look that up. Okay, my reading of the rules is that it is not isolated, even though um, it's cut off by enemy zones of control, because it is the attacker. Defenders are only isolated. So, it's going to attack one of these guys. Not sure which one's better. Um, I feel I could roll up this line here, allowing all these guys to pour out down this way. Um, either way, it's yeah, taken across the river. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go this way. So that's going to be one for the river, two for an enemy unit, three for clear. Um, it was at eight movement factor, so that brings it down to five. Um, okay, so now a secret declaration of support. Well, the French, um, this is probably a good time for them to use the tanks that they just got back. So I'm going to throw their tanks in. Um, they're also going to throw in this air unit. And uh, the Germans, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, so this guy is going to throw in as well. Uh, this is the air unit battle. So we get plus two for being German. And then uh, the Germans have uh, four sorties. One, two, three, four. Uh, the French have five sorties, but it doesn't matter. Um, that is the um, indicator that they both get another sortie and they both get to participate in the battle. So um, go ahead and adjust the sorties here. Ooh, wrong one. So this southern French aircraft that had to displace uh, is now out for the turn. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and do the battle. One and one. Germans aren't going to win a lot of battles doing ones. So uh, we get plus two for German, plus two for armor, plus two for air support, plus one for French, plus two for air support, uh, plus two for armor. Um, the Germans are attacking across the river. That is no effect. So tanks will come back next turn. Um, Germans still have five moves left, so they can go one, two, three again. They are going to throw this air um, craft into it. And, uh, you know, the French, they need to fight this. This is probably an important battle, so they'll throw this guy in. Let's do the air battle. Plus two German. Um, minus five sorties. And then, yeah, minus lots of sorties. So both have air support. Both take an additional sortie. This German unit's out. French unit just has one left. Ground combat. Mm, French might be able to hold them off here. Uh, plus one for French, plus two for air. Um, plus one for, or plus two for German, plus two for armor, plus two for air, minus one for river. What do we have here? Yep, no effect. Okay, and uh, I don't think the German can do anything else, even though they have two moves left. So they are spent. Uh, that could have been much worse for the French. So, next. Um, it's a tough choice here. I could have my German armor attack the BEF and try to push him back. I can have him pull off the line here out of zone of control, and then 
move in to over here to attack across the river here. Um, maybe we'll activate some infantry to see what they can do first. So activate this infantry. They're going to do mobile attacks against this. They have eight movement points, spending production. Um, cost one for the river, two for the enemy unit, three for clear. So that puts them down at five movement points. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, just maybe they should attack this guy instead. And then if they were able to advance, this guy would be isolated. So yeah, we'll take this guy instead. And that way this air unit can participate. So the Germans are gonna use this air unit. Um, let's see, if I were the French, well, their base is going to be attacked by ground units, so they'll fly in support of themselves. So uh, here's the air battle. Okay, uh, plus two for being German, minus three <laughs> uh, for sorties, French have five sorties. Um, I guess that's pretty common once uh, all your air units have been spent by, through battle. So uh, they both participate in the battle, and they both take on another sortie. French are, air are out of uh, the battle for this month. So as long as the Germans attack French, um, they get two unopposed air sorties. So maybe that's part of the strategy is I want to knock the French air out. I'm still learning this, of course. Okay, so anyway, uh, mobile attack against this spot. It is three movement points to attack, which we've already spent. French keep getting lucky rolls. One, two for German, two for air. No armor. French plus one for French, plus um, two for air. And that's nothing. This next one will probably crack it though. Um, they'll spend three more movement points to do the exact same attack. They're throwing in some air unopposed. Um, ground, at ground attack. Still horrible die rolling by the Germans. Um, two for German, two for air, one for French. Finally got a retreat. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's redo this. I'm missing something here. Two for German, two for air, one for French, two for air. Um, Thought I did something wrong there. Um, so that's not a retreat, plus the Germans are crossing a river. I think I got that corrected there. So no effect. Man, so this guy is done. Well, I'm going to keep trying to crack that. We'll go ahead and activate this guy attacking the same spot. That's one production point. Um, it's three to attack, which gives him five movement points after the attack. Um, we're sending in our last German aircraft sortie. Whew. Guess the uh, French have some intel on what's going on or something. One, two, three, four for air, one for French, one for river. Attacker stopped. Oof, rough. So, what are we going to do here? Um, yeah, this is not so good. I think what we'll do is uh, we'll see what we can do along the uh, coast up here. We can activate this guy. One movement point. 
or production point. One to move in. One, two, to attack that guy. Um, take note, he is not isolated, even though this German zone of control exerts over to here, because a friendly city uh, basically cancels zone of control in terms of isolation. Um, anyway, uh, he went one, and then he's two more to attack, so I leave him five moves. Let's see, I believe I forgot to flip this. This might be a mistake, but I think my German air was all spent. The French are just killing it. One, two for German. Um, one for French, no effect. He's gonna do another attack, spend three more, or Two more. So is that five? So it goes to three. Wow. One, two, one, no effect. Third time's a charm. Finally, the Germans gain the advantage. One, two for German, one for French. So what we get here, DD. Defender disrupted. They take a loss and then have to retreat. Um, they must end the retreat one space away from the attacker. Ah, so this is how I got them. That's the only place to go. They would not be ending one space away from the attacker. Destroyed. Okay, I'm slowly learning this. So, they go to the eliminated box of the French uh, faction card. Um, French national will drops by one. It is down to, um, let's see, it looks like it's at 10 now. Okay, and he still has one move left, but he's in an enemy zone of control, the British. So he's done. All right, but that was a, that was a good one. So, oh, what next? Well, I think an obvious one is come in and grab Calais. So this guy came in over here to Calais. Um, maybe he'd do an assault on the British. This guy moves in one space, does an assault, and then I can bring another guy over to do an assault. That's, it'd be a s slow progress, but might be able to get a big hit. Or we can just stay mobile. You know, we're German, 1940s, let's stay mobile. We'll activate this guy. Uh, he spends a production. Uh, eight moves. There's one. Now he's at seven. Enemy city. It costs two, so he's at five. Uh, it's going to attack BEF, zone of control exerted over here, so if the BEF has to retreat, he's going to be in trouble. Um, yeah, let's do it. Ah, this is it's going to be painful again, because now I'm attacking British forces. Uh, you know, I was trying to avoid attacking them, um, so that they can't use their aircraft. You know, I'm trying to decide, maybe I shouldn't do this, or maybe I should convert it to an assault. Hmm. Yeah, that's tough. You know, um, you know what? He's just going to end his activation. Um, and I sh should have remembered to do this. Let's throw some control down here into Calais. Let's drop French national will by two. It is now at eight. So my thinking here is he's just going to stop his activation. This might be silly, but i um, thinking maybe this German can come in here, smash this guy out of the way, maybe try to get this guy um, isolated. 
and then it can do the attack. Um, yeah, we'll see. Activating this guy for two production. Germans are down to 18. All right, second Panzer. Um, hmm. I guess I have to attack him first. Gosh darn it, I was thinking I can come down here. Oh, wait, no, I can. Oh, I'm starting out to your very first move. You don't have to worry about the must stop or attack. So we'll go ahead and move here. Now we have to stop or attack. So that cost two moves. We're down to eight. So we'll attack this French uh, unit here. That'll cost two more, putting us at six. This is actually pretty good, because if that unit doesn't cross the river, um, we can just keep hammering on it. Okay, six. Since they're French, they can't call on British support. Got uh, two German, two armor, one French. Defender retreat. Okay. French are in for some serious trouble. Ooh, they can only go one place right here. There's German zones of control here. So they have to cross the river. Germans are going to advance. They still have six moves. They're now behind the BEF, so it's only going to cost two moves to attack because there's no terrain. Um, the BEF can call upon tanks and aircraft. But if it takes a hit it, or has to retreat, it's going to be hurting. Um, or I can keep pursuing the French and possibly take Le Havre. Um, I think it'd be better to see if we can kill the BEF um, and then next turn just unleash ourselves on the rest of the remainders of the French. So, um, yeah, so they're going to do a mobile attack against the BEF. Um, well, British have to throw everything in on this one, so they will throw their tanks in. The uh, fighter command is going to fly um, air support. There's no opposition from the Germans, so just automatically add a sortie there. Um, okay, here we go. And allies are just rolling great. Okay, so we have uh, one, two for German, two for armor, and then one for UK, two for air, two for armor. Um, which would be no result, except they're also isolated, so minus two. That's, that, uh, that's also no result. Okay, that's okay though, because they get two more attacks here. And the tanks are gone. They'll come back next turn. So we'll spend two more moves to attack again. Uh, be, the uh, fighter command will be flying support again. Uh, finally came around for the Germans. One for UK, two for air support, minus two for um, being isolated. Two for armor, um, two for German. DE, whoa, I don't think I've seen one of those yet. Defender eliminated. Um, so these guys were killed. Go to the eliminated units box for the Western faction. Uh, British national will has dropped from 20 to 19. Uh, we also throw down a um, no Isaac marker where that happened. So um, this situation happened in the Polish uh, scenario I played through before, which is it doesn't really matter, but if there were enemy units here exerting a zone of control into here, they would the zone of control would be canceled for for this moment. 
um, but sort of irrelevant right now. Okay, so there's two moves left for the German. He could advance after combat to get out of the way. Um, if he did that, yeah, if he doesn't do that, he basically has to stop because he doesn't have enough movement points to attack this guy. So he might as well advance after combat and then spend his two remaining movement points um, to reposition a little better. Which I think... Um, hmm... It's actually a tough choice. Either here to threaten the Hav, or here to threaten this outgoing area, or here to really better defend Paris and protect this guy. But I think we'll bring in an infantry to help him. I think I want to go here. Okay, that ends his turn. see what else we can do here. Move German infantry here. Um, German infantry here. We are a little spread pretty thin. If the French decide to come out of the forts, they, they might be able to do some hurt on the Germans. Um, don't need this control marker anymore. Pretty obvious who owns that. Um, we'll leave the Paris one. Well, I'm inclined to pull this German out. Um, would allow the French to come out of their fort and go there, uh, but uh, they would have, hmm, they'd be able to exert their zone of control into Brussels if this guy moved out and uh, cut off <laughs> whole supply. Okay, I can't move this guy out. I'm trying to figure out how to get an extra German unit over to Paris. I don't want this guy to walk in here and cut these guys off. Um, maybe. This unit in here will activate. Yeah, we'll do that. So that'll be one production point. It's got eight moves. One, two, three, four, five, six to cross the river. I didn't come this way because there's a zone of control here. And, uh, you know, he's in his enemy's zone of control now, so he can't do anything. Okay, at least it protected Paris. This uh, air unit is vulnerable. Um, well, no, I think it's probably pretty safe, actually. Uh, this rail line is vulnerable. That's what I was more worried about. If this guy exits the Maginot Fort, goes here. He'll exert his zone of control into this rail line, which uh, we were, um, I think, using to trace supply, but I think everyone could trace to this line up to here and come up through the Netherlands, so I don't think the French can cut supply. So, uh, you know, I think, I think that'll be the German turn. They're not going to attack anymore, even though there's a few little attacks they could do here. I don't want to risk anything. Um, and so I think we just proved that they can also trace supply. Everyone is on a rail line or within two spaces of a rail line that can get back to Germany. So that's the um, end of the German operations phase. So now for the Allied, or Western Allies operations phase. Man, they are hurting. Um, we've got German armor way out to the left here. Need to block it, but even if they block it, they'll pr probably have a tough time holding it back. Um, the BEF was destroyed. Hmm. Well, we need to do some uh, emergency measures here. So uh, let's see if we can denude the Imagine a line. So I don't want to leave that, let this guy leave this fort because Strasbourg, if it falls, um, there'd be two more national will. Let's keep in mind the French have eight national will. Four cities going down um, will finish them. And uh, I believe there's a city here. Yeah, we don't want to lose that. It also has a factory. Um, what do we have here? No city. Okay, that's possible to give up if we have to. Same with here. I think we're going to do that. Let's get these guys pulling back. Activate this. That's one production point for the French. They only have 12, so it's going to be a little scary here. So uh, that's one, two to cross the river. 
We have eight movement points. So we'll go three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we'll go here since we can't get anywhere else interesting. Eight. So at least there is under control blocking things here a bit. <clears throat> This one here is probably not going to get much farther, but we'll activate it for a production point. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. this guy. Well, if he pulls out, the German can sneak through and then attack him in Dijon. So I think he needs to stay there. I need to hold that line there. Now, these guys are going to eke through. Well, they can take the fort easily, but then they'll have to fight someone. So we'll, we'll leave this the way it is right now. Um, man, really struggling to get anything to plug these gaps. We got this... Um, down in Vichy, a reconstituted French unit that we built at the end of June. Well, we might as well move it over and then uh, we can rebuild it at the end of the turn if we have any production left over. So activate that for one production point. The French are down to nine production points. So that'll be one, two, three. Or, I guess, get behind the river. And uh, just deactivate. Trying to decide, do I want to maybe pull this guy out here and then put him over here? But uh, it's kind of bottlenecking this. Requires the Germans to have a unit in this sort of crossroads here. I have Paris. Uh, threatens Paris. So I think it's good to keep that guy there. Over here is really what I'm worried about. I mean, Le Havre's probably gonna fall for sure. Um, it's not a whole lot I can do here. I mean, I could give up more Maginot forts, you know, take the hit of national will of those two cities falling, but then it also frees up all these German units. So I think this is all I have, and I need to hope to get some reinforcements in here. Um, I think that's that's their turn. Um, I could fly the British into France, you know, their aircraft, but I don't think it's going to be useful. Okay, let's check supply. The uh, units over here can still use rail. Um, all these guys are good. These guys are good. So everyone's in supply. Um, that's the end of the operations phase. Uh, the no supply phase is next, um, but everyone's in supply. Then we have the replacements phase. We'll start with the Germans. They're going to pay uh, six production, so they're going from uh, 17 down to 11 to uh, pay down the sorties on, by two on each. Really hard to keep these guys flying. And um, there's nothing really else the Germans um, can do. Um, so the Allies, uh, the French are going to pay one production point, so they're at eight, to uh, flip this unit. And then um, they're going to pay six more, so they're down to two pay down their sorties on their two aircraft. And what else we have here? I suppose, uh, let's see, the French can't pay down. They still have a sortie on a surface group, but they can't pay that down. Uh, but the British, um, they still have production points. They're going to pay um, six. That takes them from 14 to eight to 
pay down there two aircraft. Um, this one goes to a two. This one is free. And uh, that's it for the replacement phase. Uh, next is the upgrade phase, which we're not doing in this scenario. The immobilization phase. Well, there's no units to mobilize. So uh, that's, that's that. Uh, skip the diplomacy phase. Victory check phase. Well, we haven't hit a victory um, point yet. End of turn phase. Um, so we're now looking at August. And uh, there's a bunch of goodies coming on the board for that. Let's see what we have coming in. I mean, this can only get worse for the Allies. The Germans are getting an airdrop. They're getting a surprise attack marker. Their submarines are back. And the Allies get their tanks back. So we'll go put that on in their respective event areas. You know, one thing I didn't remember is the Allies actually have a surprise attack marker. I'm really not sure what that could have been used for. I mean, I think it would have been a waste. Um, yeah, I think it would have been wasted. Hard to say though. I probably should have thrown it in though, since they seemed imminent. Uh, their fall is imminent. So um, the last bit of the end of turn is uh, the destroyed BEF and one of the French army. The one French army that is destroyed, they move over to the. Uh, mobilization box so that means they'll be able to mobilize next turn so go ahead and do that and uh, that's the end of July 1940